Hey guys, it's Matt Hoots here with Sawhorse, and I'm at the Durkin booth, and I've got Marcus. We've known each other for over a decade now. They've got some exciting new products. Now, I'm kind of one of my pet peeves. I'm driving around Atlanta, and you know, we build new houses, and we retrofit, and I'm really sick of seeing all these builders using the wrong type of house wrap. I'll see one layer of house wrap, and it's not it's not rated for like maybe like 20 minutes, and then they'll stick in stucco and stone up right on top of that. We know that's gonna be an issue. So you guys have a solution for that and it's, it's right behind us. We'll take a look at that. Simplest version would be great D uh, building paper, single layer, but that is not according to code. So usually you double up when you put an um, absorptive cladding like stucco or manufactured stone on top of that. Uh, but even then you don't really have a true drainage layer. True. We can uh, we can split hairs there that there is some drainage, but in the end we know there are many areas in the United States where homes with stucco fail and it's typically because the stucco was applied directly on top of the water resistant barrier and that over time just leads to too much moisture soaking yep. through and loading up the OSB board with, um, uh, with moisture. So the solution to that is very simple. Don't let the stucco, the wet stucco touch the surface of the membrane. So if you move that away, for instance, by putting a three dimensional membrane in between, we lift it off, we create an air gap in between and without the touch, there's no moisture transfer into the inner structure anymore. So you got a two-in-one product. So basically it, adds, it allows that for the, everything to be able to dry out and you can apply it directly to that, correct? Yeah, so this two-in-one product here um, is basically a combination of a dimple sheet that provides the gap. So now we're lifting the stucco away from the surface of the water-resistive barrier. Uh, that way there's no capillary action anymore, there's no solar driven moisture because we have a, a plastic membrane basically in between. But we're not creating a vapor barrier because the space in behind here is ventilated. Mm -hmm. So any moisture from the outside can diffuse through the water resistant barrier, ends up in this airspace and gets out. Moisture from the stucco, when the stucco is loaded with uh, rainwater after a rain shower, sun, sun comes back out again, typically tries to push that moisture inwards gets blocked on this layer, it has these drainage channels as well, uh, water will drain back out again at the bottom. And on the outside here you see the glass fiber lath that will basically um, replace the wire mesh that you typically see in stucco applications. So now the scratch coat is applied to the glass fiber lath, much lighter weight, much easier to cut, uh, very quick to install and it's an all-in-one solution. All right, so a lot of people are thinking, we put this up, we don't need that weather-resistant barrier. So I see the uh, both, and you still need both. You need the weather-resistant barrier, plus the rain screen. They serve completely different functions. And let's talk about like how the different control layers, as they come up, and like what's, what happens with these control layers. So the water-resistant barrier often also used as the air uh, barrier. Uh, if installed as an air barrier, will do its function. Uh, any liquid water that gets in through penetrations around windows or whatever will have to stay on the outside of that water resistant barrier. But ideally you have a drainage space, so it's not just enough to block the water from, uh, from getting in, but somehow it needs to get back out again. So therefore, a three-dimensional space here where you can drain, uh, drain out. Um, the function of this plastic membrane is to provide the drainage in behind the stucco but it does more than that because again the stucco is an absorptive cladding similar to manufactured stone absorbs lots of rainwater that's sitting in there when the sun comes out that moisture doesn't all dry to the outside the sun energy is actually pushing it inwards and because the water resistant barriers are vapor permeable that means the moisture can actually be pushed through this membrane with, um, with a product like this in between, that effect is being taken away. So you don't have um, solar driven moisture anymore passing through this membrane here. And uh, with the glass fiber lath, you're getting the two in one function that you can replace the wire mesh at the same time. I uh, see so you got the bug screen on the top and I've also been told that you do have the bug screen and, and, and it is important to have. However, with the convective currents, wasp and things like that don't like to live in there because there's too much airflow. So it is, we are not mandating that, but many, uh, many customers, many applicators are asking for and say, I'm concerned if I create an airspace in behind this membrane, I want to make sure that insects don't find a way in. Uh, so this um, strip here, this bug screen is very permeable for air, uh, but insects will not fit through here and will not get in. And it's very easy to install at the same time. Got it. And this is the Delta Dry system, but where is the best place to find out more information about these products? I know you guys have lots of information videos and whatnot. Uh, either you Google uh, Delta Dry or Delta Dry in Lath or you just go to dorken.com, D-O-R-K-E-N.com. 
That's our company website, and you will find all our product portfolio there. Okay, and again, we've been using you guys for decades. We really appreciate what you guys are coming up with here. Thanks. Thank you, man. Thanks for watching this video, and I want to thank all of the vendors that I've been interviewing at the International Builder Show, and also KBiz for providing this amazing information. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up, and we're going to create more content just like this, so make sure you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you can get more information. Now, if you guys have specific questions on any of these products, what want you to do is like leave a comment in the section below, and I'll take it back to the manufacturer, and ask that question, and get a response from you, and probably create a video response just for that. So, appreciate all the people that have subscribed and supported us throughout the years, and manufacturers as well. So, thanks again, and see you guys next time.